This is Easter 1980 at High Meadow. It's been a custom ever since I was a child that we have an Easter egg hunt. As when G Uncle George and I were growing up, we always had an Easter egg hunt with the Gish family. And when our own children were small, why, we had an Easter egg hunt at the house where we were living, which was mostly Zendale. And now we really enjoy having the grandchildren come back and hide the eggs. This year, I think that Sherry and Steffi had graduated and they were too old to hunt, so uh, Stacy's the oldest one hunting and the other girls helped with the egg hiding. There's Spencer in his pretty blue suit. You see the wood pile? Grandpa always has a lot of wood out there. I'm not doing a very good job of getting it burned up now. I usually color eggs, but I don't make them very fancy. They just are colored and that's all. Always have to line everybody up out in front with all their boot and see what uh, everybody has. Looks like Sherry has on the plaid shirt. Maudie is in the pretty red jacket. And Stacy is the tallest of the egg collectors. There's Andy and Davy. Oh, Davy has on a good looking suit too. Who's the boy with the ball? There's Danny. Was that Jonathan? Okay. Now they're <coughs> going to have a wild uh, football game out on the, uh, what we call the South 40, out south of the house. You can see the water in the lake in the background. Stacy's a pretty mean football player. Soccer, what is it? Soccer. Sun the sun came out, Art says. I don't know what happened, but we have a little problem here with a little too much exposure. Grandpa seems to be the referee, and I noticed he got out of the way pretty fast. Dad always wanted to have the boys play ball. He was always disappointed that the Zendale school didn't have an indoor basketball court so that uh, the boys could have the opportunity to play ball like he did when he was in grade in high school. Dad always enjoyed horseshoe pitching and I guess he kind of indoctrinated his sons into the art Look at this follow through now. Oh my, how about that? Little body English. We don't know whether that hit the peg or not. We'll never know.